Tall Joe here. Um, I just got back from the Camino de Santiago in Spain. Um, I hiked all the way from St. Jean in France in the Pyrenees to um, Santiago and then did the extra three days to Fistera. Um, in total, it was 880 kilometers or so. Um, I'm going to do a gear list here. I've never done one before, so bear with me. But um, everything I took worked out pretty well for me. Um, I had a smaller pack than most, um, so I'll show you exactly what I have going on here. Um, I started April 16th of 2017 and finished May 21st. Uh, it was kind of the spring season. I had weather all over the place. Um, it started with 10 days of sun and weather in the 70s, absolutely perfect. And then it got really cold and started sleeting on us with cold rain and um, you know highs in the upper 30s or so. Uh, so this this gear got me through. Um, there's a couple things I would change. I'll go into that a little later. Uh, but for the most part, this worked out really well. This is the pack all loaded up. Uh, it is a Stratos 24 by Osprey. Um, I love those guys. Osprey is a great company. It's one of the bigger ones, but they have uh, excellent product and uh, great warranties with all their stuff as well. So I'm a big believer in Osprey. Um, I'm going to open up this pack and show you exactly what I have inside. Okay, so here's all my gear laid out. First things I'll go through my clothing here. Um, I had a Mountain Hardware uh, button down shirt. Uh, for town, and I also had some uh, mountain khaki zip off convertible pants. Uh, those are really nice to have because the Camino is not a, um, a hiker trash or, or stinky trail. Uh, everybody takes showers and does laundry every day, so this was actually kind of nice to be able to relax in the afternoons and at night and actually have some legit clothing with me. Um, I had two pairs of ex officio boxer briefs. And for hiking, mostly hiking, um, I used these Brooks uh, running shorts. They were really nice, kind of short, but they were fun. Um, no chafing, no issues there. Um, if it was colder, I wore this icebreaker um, base layer. I'd also wear this to sleep sometimes. Um, but if it was hot, then I would wear this uh, mountain khakis button down short sleeve shirt. This was great. It dried out really fast. So doing laundry, all this stuff went really quickly. Uh, for socks, um, these are the uh, Darn Tough uh, socks. I took three pairs, two for hiking, and then this was a longer um, ski sock, they call it. Uh, I wore those on colder days or uh, to sleep in um, if it was a little chilly at night. This is a buff. These things are amazing, multi-use, buy one for sure. And then for insulation, I had a Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. Uh, down jacket. I love this jacket. One of my favorite pieces of gear. It's ultra lightweight and still pretty warm. Um, I had all of this stuff or all my you know, dry clothes in a Z-Pack screaming fiber sack. Kept everything nice and dry. For rain, um, I had the Z-Pack Challenger rain jacket. It's a great jacket. It's kind of expensive though. Um, I'm sure you can find something for cheaper if you're on a budget, uh, but they do make good stuff. Uh, I also had a pack cover um, that came with the Stratos, so it was just kind of built in. Used that a few times, definitely needed. Okay, on to toiletries. Um, I had just a travel toothbrush and toothpaste. Brought a comb, um, fingernail clippers. I did trim my uh, toes and fingernails once throughout the trip, so those are nice to have. Um, deodorant, bring deodorant. It's not a stinky trail, like I said earlier. Uh, you don't want to be the stinky kid. Um, as far as my first aid, um, I just had ibuprofen, some Tums, and some um, Pepto. Um, I did get food poisoning one night, so it would be nice to have some sort of um, stomach upset drugs. Um, this was a uh, suntan lotion, definitely need it. The trail is very exposed, there's a lot of sun out there. And then this is uh, some Spanish type gold bond powder. I like Gold Bond when I hike, it keeps everything dry, it keeps uh, the undercarriage nice and fresh and also um, keeps your feet nice and dry. Okay, um, entertainment, uh, this is a um, Kindle 
it was nice to have, there's a lot of free time, um, so it was cool to be able to kind of go off on your own and decompress and read a book if you wanted to. Um, this is the Anchor 4-port USB charger. I did have a European adapter. I left it in a hotel one night, so I don't have it anymore, but make sure you have just that little adapter. You don't need a uh, $30 or $40 thing. You just need the little converter. Uh, the Anchor battery pack, this was awesome. I used it all the time uh, with the recordings and also um, phone charging. Um, it was nice to be able to leave this anywhere in the Albergay plugged into a wall and not have to worry about it getting stolen. Um, you know, to replace this was, um, you know, 20 bucks, whereas if I left my phone, that's $600. So, um, highly recommend one of these. These are just the various charging cables, uh, headphones. I listen to music um, every single night to put the snoring or to drown out the snoring. Um, so that was very useful. This is a um, just dry bag for all the electronic stuff. And then I have um, extra memory cards and battery for the camera. Um, over here, this is uh, one item that I uh, not sure if I even used. Um, depending on what your plan is for hiking, you might not need a headlamp. Um, same thing with the batteries. Never used them, but I brought them. Uh, as far as sleeping, this is a pillowcase. I highly recommend taking a pillowcase. Uh, you don't always get one in an albergue, and there are thousands and thousands of people using these pillows. Um, it was just really nice to have my own pillowcase, more comfort item. And then in here, I've got a Marmot um, Atom 40 sleeping bag. Uh, it's great to have. Again, you don't always get sheets. Um, there's thousands of people sleeping in these beds. It's nice to have your own comfort item. Um, as far as temperature, this time of year in April, I would recommend a sleeping bag. Um, at a minimum during the summer, you should at least take a uh, liner or something give yourself some protection there from bed bugs. Speaking of bed bugs, I didn't have any. I don't think anybody I knew had any. I did spray some of my stuff with permethrin uh, just for protection, but a lot of people didn't and they didn't have issues. So I'm sure it's a problem, but it's not as big of a problem as people make it out to be. Uh, trekking poles by Black Diamond. These were awesome. I kind of wish that I had the rubber tips on them though. A lot of people did. There's a ton of road walking. These just aren't really good on asphalt so much. They, they bounce a little bit uh, when you tag it on asphalt. So it would have been nice to have the rubber tips there. And then I had just a small, um, this is from REI. I think it's the medium size um, towel. It was sufficient for me, super lightweight as well. Um, shower shoes, Crocs, I already had them. They're nice to have. Um, I also wore them around at night in town and whatever just to get out of my running shoes. Hand sanitizer, it's a good thing to have, and um, some safety pins. Uh, the clothes pins at, uh, for drying your clothes on clotheslines weren't always available, so these were nice to have. I did bring this bare line um, to make a clothesline if I needed, but I never needed to. So this is one item. And this headlamp is another item that I probably wouldn't take next time. Um, one other thing, we have the guidebook. I ended up uh, using this for a week or so, and then I switched to Gut Hooks app um, on for the Camino, and it was excellent. Um, if I had any other questions that that app wouldn't get me, I could just ask other people. Um, there are plenty of other people that you could ask for information that were out there hiking. Uh, this is the credential that you get as you go, and you get stamps for all the places, just kind of proving that you did it, and uh, that's how you get your credential at the end. This shell, um, you know, you can pick these up. I went through three of these because I kept breaking them, but um, these are for sale everywhere as well. I'll go back to this credential. I got it from the American uh, Pilgrims group before I left. You can get this in St. John at the Pilgrim's office. I'd actually actually recommend that one instead. It has more spots for stamps. Um, I felt like at the end I was running out of room so I stopped getting stamps. Uh, whereas the one that you get in Europe is uh, has a lot more space for that. 
Um, so that's everything I have gear wise. Um, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll uh, get back to you and let you know uh, my thoughts. Um, again, this is a gear list for uh, mid April to mid May on the Camino de Santiago from St. John uh, to Fistera. Um, yeah, Boone Camino. Enjoy it.